Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> this is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. Two of my favorite characters in the world of boxing. And not necessarily because of, of their boxing accomplishments or their boxing styles or anything that they do in the boxing, in the boxing ring at all. Even though, don't get me wrong, Ryan and Adrian have had some great moments in boxing. But the characters, you got one guy who, who, who really had done much in the sport, but does run his mouth a lot, and has all the potential in the world, and that's Ryan Garcia. You have another guy who's accomplished a lot early in his career, and really had done anything since, and like to talk a lot of trash in Adrian Broder. So, to see them guys lock into a fight and just go in and do a press conferences would be just magical in my eyes. Just off of the two, the two guys' characters. And if you thought Tate and Ryan was, was a spectacle, trust me, Adrian Broder versus Ryan Garcia would be even much more bigger of a spectacle than that was. Now with that being said, Adrian Broder and Ryan Garcia are supposedly friends. Adrian Broder has come out on several occasions and say he supports Ryan Garcia and they are friends and, and both guys supposedly, allegedly suffer from some sort of mental health issues. Now, with that being said, uh, I'll say earlier this year, maybe even 2020, no, 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 I'm sorry. Clearly it was after the tape that was right. After Ryan took his L to tape, we started hearing rumors of who Ryan might fight when he moved up to 140. Now, I clearly remember Adrian Broner's name being tossed around. Um, around this time, we was hearing about Adrian Broner fighting Hank Lundy. That fight didn't happen. Uh, you had other fights that was lined up for Broner uh, previously that did, that did not happen. So eventually, he fought the guy that he fought, and Ryan Garcia was still searching for an opponent. Now, Here's where things get interesting. According to uh, the president of Golden Boy, Eric Gomez, <laughs> Ryan Garcia was indeed in negotiations to face Adrian Broner. And according to Gomez, he talked directly to Don King. And Don King was already set to go with Broner versus Garcia. But according to Gomez, Adrian Broner was the one that stepped in and said, no, 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 no. I need to tune up first and chose to fight the guy that he fought while Ryan Garcia was to go on to find another opponent, which is the guy he's about to fight now. I think his name is Corte or however you pronounce it. I can't pronounce it. I've never, never heard of him, to be honest with you. Now, with that said, Adrian Broner has come out and said to the contrary <laughs> of what Eric Gomez is saying. Matter of fact, let's look at the tweet that he put out or, or whatever. Because uh, it, it ain't even called Twitter no more. Whatever you call it, let's check it out and see what Adrian Broner had to say. At Golden Boy, I never knew about the offer with the fight with at King Ryan. I'm just now finding out about that as we speak, but I'm here to let you know I don't need a tune up for ish. After Ryan take care of his business in December, we can make it happen ASAP. I'm the same person who fought Manny Pacquiao. Why the F would I be afraid of saving private Ryan send the contract? Now, I don't know if him referencing that Manny Pacquiao fight it's a good thing or a bad thing considering he barely even threw a punch, especially during the back end of the fight. Now, with that being said, I believe most people will agree that if the two were to fight, Ryan Garcia would probably be 
the favorite going into the fight and probably a heavy favorite at that. I mean, let's think about it. When, has, when was the last time Adrian Broner had a, a victory over somebody that, that's even worth mentioning? Who, who would that be? Paul, Paulie Mala, uh, Malinazzi? Who, who would be his, his recent signature win? Then to make it worse, he hasn't been active that much over the last four or five years is at, at that. So we have no reason to believe that Adrian Broner is capable of beating any top fighter at 140, in my opinion. And this is coming from a guy who's an Adrian Broner fan. But the reality is, between getting in trouble, inactivity, not taking your craft as serious as you should, we have no reason to believe that the Adrian Broner that we once loved and thought would be the next Floyd Mayweather even exists anymore. That guy, as far as I'm concerned, has, has been gone. But if he is still in there somewhere, this is his opportunity to show it against a young, up-and-coming fighter who hasn't really done much himself. Let's be honest, Ryan Garcia, the most he's done is won the interim title. And that, that's pretty much it. All Ryan Garcia has done is collect a whole bunch of fans. But with that being said, <laughs> if the two were to fight, it would be a huge fight as a spectacle, maybe not as a boxing match, but as a spectacle, it would be huge. It would probably sell. The promotion would be ridiculous between the two and their personalities. So I would watch it, especially the promos. That would be like watching the WWE almost with the promos. So I would definitely check it out. But as, as a fight, I think it would be rather one-sided. And that's pretty much all I got this head Buster Boxes on Fight Doctor. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section, let me know what you think. Um, should this fight happen? Would you watch the fight? And would, <laughs> would the fight be as entertaining as the presses? I don't think so. I think the presses would be way more, more funnier, <laughs> more exciting. <laughs> And I think, I think Ryan Garcia will pound it out. And as a matter of fact, I dare say Ryan might even stop Angel Roller. But that's pretty much all I got. Just head busting boxes on Fight Doctor. I am out.